ठीक है तो शुरू कर दू मैं ज्ञान तिमीरांध से ज्ञानांजन शलाकाय चक्षुरुन्मीलितमेन तस्म श्रीगुरवे नम मंत्रसत्यम पूजा सत्यम सत्यमेव निरंजन गुरुर्वाक्यम सदा सत्यम सत्यमेव परम पदम अखंडमंडलाकार व्याप्त चराचर तत्पदम दर्शित तस्म श्रीगुर नम मंत्र सत्यम पूजा सत्यम सत्यमेव निरंजन गुरुर्वाक्यम सदा सत्यम सत्यमेव परम पदम ब्रह्मनंदम परम सुखदम केवल ज्ञानमूर्ति तद्वंद्वातीत गगन सदृश तत्वस्यालक्ष्यम एक विमलमचल सर्वधी साक्षिभूत भावतीत त्रिगुणरहित सद्गु तम नमा ब्रह्म मुरारी स्त्रिपुरांतकारी भानुशशी भूमि सुतो बुधश्च गुरुश्च शुक्र शनि राहु केतव कुरुवंतु सर्वे मम सुप्रभात वेल फ्रेंड्स दे है इन्वाइटेड मी हियर टू डिसअपॉइंट यू द रीजन इज वेरी सिंपल इफ एनीथिंग हैज करप्टेड एस्ट्रोलॉजी इट इज द ओवर यूज ऑफ ट्रांजिट इफ एनीथिंग हैज डायल्यूटेड एस्ट्रोलॉजी इट इज द ओवर यूज ऑफ ट्रांजिट If anything has made astrology look like a joke, it is the overuse of transits. I mean it seriously. Go through Brihat Parashar Hora Shast and show me where does that great Rishi Parashar speak about transits, except in that small chapter dealing with Astak Varga. Go through Brihat Samhita, Brihat Jatak of Varami here, and show me where does he speak about transit. I am talking about the real classics. Please remember. Go through Jatak Parijat and show me where is that importance given to transits. there are only three books where transits for individual horoscopy are discussed the first is phaladeepika and in such a concealed way that by reading and applying it more often than not you land yourself in disaster the indian tradition of treating astrology as an abusable knowledge has led to the creation of secrecy
the other book where transits have been discussed and which perhaps is not at all available to you in English is Jataka Deshmark. And the third book where it has been made use of in a very subtle way is a book which you may have never heard about, Beda Jatak. In Vedic astrology, transits are given least importance. Try to understand that first. But transits attain extraordinarily great importance in mundane astrology. Out of that also, only one book is available to you in English, Brihat Samhita of Varah Mihir. The other book written slightly after Varah Mihir and Subtler, extraordinarily subtle, is a book which is not available even to us in India. We have to get the whole thing photostat to have our copies each. That is a book known as Bhadra Bahu Samhita. Bhadrabahu was a great giant saint during the time of the great Indian king Chandragupta Maurya. And he had told Chandragupta Maurya, looking at the sky, for 12 years there will be a drought in your kingdom. Do whatever you like, you cannot prevent it. Chandragupta fought hard, could do nothing, handed over the kingdom to his son went back to South India and retired in a monastery as a giant monk and died there. Im the importance of transits is mainly for mundane. And even there, there are such extraordinary subtleties that most of the people don't know that a lunar fortnight of 13 days, a fortnight starting with Saturday, a fortnight starting with Tuesday, with comets appearing, eclipses falling within two fortnights, within a fortnight, etc have extraordinary significance. So transits are made use of, but mainly in mundane astrology and least in individual horoscopy. But we live in an age of instant culture. People who believe in instant culture believe in eating opium. They want some quick dose which can create for them a feeling of euphoria. If such instant culture was not a popular concept, why should there be in the newspapers all over the world daily, weekly or monthly predictions? How can you accept the illogicality of dividing human destiny into 12 categories, whether you take the sun sign or the moon sign? How can you accept further the illogic illogicality of accepting the patterns of human destiny 
into only 27 kinds based on the nakshatras. Are there only 12 types of destiny in human life or are there only 27 types? Each horoscope has a subtlety of its own. So the Vedic system is to go into the real depth of a horoscope, make an analysis. So when people come to me and talk about transits, I drive them away. When you be want to become an escapist in astrology, you will over rely on transits. And when you really want to go deep into astrology, you will go into subtler, deeper techniques. When I talk about, later when I will be teaching Gemini, I will show to you how without making use of any transit you can give predictions. And if you have accurate birth time and accurate Vinshottiri Dasha calculated on the basis of Chitrapaksha in Ansha or Lahiri, you can go down to the fifth level, take the risk of going down to the fifth level known as the Pran Dasha. and predict exactly in these two days or the, in these twelve hours this event will take place. But Pran Dasha, in my entire astrological career I have made use of only twice. Both times it clicked. But it was in the case of a family where two women were kept inside the maternity room to note down the time of the birth of the child. They were not even depending on the nurse or the doctor to tell the time. In such cases, you can go up to Pranadasha. But if it is a reasonably accurate horoscope, you can go up to Sukshmadasha, the fourth level. If it is still not certain that you are working on the correct data, you should go up to Pratyanta Dasha only the third level. And after doing that, cross check it with the shortest Nakshatra Dasha known as Yogini Dasha. Your timing of an event will be far superior. That is why I got the first book in the world on Yogini Dasha, got written by Janji and N.K. Sharma in Delhi. There was no book on it that has reached USA also. If you make use of Vinshotri Dasha and Yogini Dasha, your timing of specific event will be far more dependable than your dependence on transits. That is the first point I want to tell you. Then the method of cross-checking, what you do can also be done through other dashas like Gemini dasha. In Germany, I have been working on 16 dashas and I am going to teach you only the easiest of the dashas, Char Dasha, and show you results even there. So when you really ask me to speak about Gochar or transits, you are asking me to speak about a subject which I have always discouraged. So I am starting with a note, not of pessimism, but of real optimism by telling you, first of all, learn proper judgment of a horoscope. If you start from the reverse way, the gochara or the transit, the inherent dangers are many. Many other people do not know 
the transits are made use of effectively only by those who know bhrigu no one else in the world really knows how to make use of transits you try any other method of transit known to you i will show you 80% failure there but the bhrigu methods are kept secret we know a little bit here and there not much so i'll tonight first of all start the subject this way by showing to you some small slides prepared by me with ha- with a handwriting which could be as bad as a human being can have <laughs> well how do i switch it on okay transits from one point is a distorted view of flowers and thorns now in vedic astrology we take transits from the moon please remember not from the sun and a closer view you can have the seed is the birth nakshatra so for giving transit results we make use of the moon and actually very few people know that the birth nakshatra is also made use of tomorrow morning i will cover give to all the participants about 24 or 25 page of material right so the illogicality i talked about if you are dividing human destiny into 12 patterns are 27 patterns where do you land up sorry i can't help it my handwriting is very bad if you are able to make out it's okay or shall i read out one point that is i'll read out transits from one point is distorted cloudy view of flowers and thorns it is based on the moon and if you go deeper the seed is the birth nakshatra janma nakshatra now i will speak in favor of transits now these two principles of judging from the moon and judging from the janma nakshatra are to be made use of as final clinchers clinching a prediction not starting a prediction the a friend of mine her daughter's father in law had met with a serious accident he was in the hospital the doctor said he was out of danger they rang me up i neither did prashna kundali i had of course seen his horoscope Finally when I came down to Gochar I said doctors are wrong they should not declare that the patient is out of danger next 48 hours are the most critical when the doctors are saying he is out of danger I conveyed it to them and in the next 24 or 36 hours that person who had according to doctors recovered very well died it is at that stage that what i am going to teach you will be useful to you please remember don't misuse transits
just to arouse your curiosity i'll i'll give you this i try to put it both in north indian and south indian style i'll describe the horoscope moon in kumbha or aquarius rahu in pisces saturn in aries venus jupiter mars in gemini mercury and sun in cancer most likely mercury is retrograde i may be committing a mistake here because i have not brought this horoscope here and ketu in virgo the time difference between the birth of these two women was about 10 minutes or 15 minutes and the lagna changed and more or less they have been running the same dasha and one would get the anta dasha the sub period slightly earlier one would get slightly later i was here in usa 1993 as to participate in your acv a conference mr dennis harness and dave trolley they had all called me when i went back to india both these women were in a panicky situation they came to me they said in your absence we went to other astrologers and they gave us disastrous predictions based on go chara transits both have the same position of the moon same janma nakshatra i am the most optimistic astrologer of the world that's what you should know about me in my ups and downs you must have seen one article predicting light amidst gloom the very worst i am seeing for the father the very best i am seeing for the son i am all the time talking about the great future of the son diverting the attention of the father from that gloomy end because i saw no chance of his surviving if you have not developed the art of seeing that light in the encircling gloom please don't do astrology you will get the curses of the people to whom you are giving prediction you should know how to emphasize the positive side to be able to divert channelize the energy of a person towards either spirituality or a creative one so the first girl who had vrishtik lagna scorpio her marriage had run into disaster the other girl whose lagna is dhanu or sagittarius her marriage had also run into disaster and astrologers predicted disaster in marriage for both more or less correctly because they will see the dasha and anta dasha i told the first girl your marriage will not collapse but you will get extraordinarily good job and you will earn lot of money when she came to me i talked about money only and prosperous career i never talked anything about disaster in marriage then she said uncle 
you have not talked about any disaster in marriage i said well you can kick your husband and your husband can kick you and still you will stay together you are not going to be separated the other girl was in usa so her mother came to me she asked me i said your daughter is going to have higher education she said that is all right but what about her marriage she said whether she wants it or not this marriage will, would not survive it will be divorce but this gloomy part i tell in the last transits are exactly the same in one case marriage is not collapsing in the other case marriage is collapsing if you go by the moon alone or if you go by the janma nakshatra in either case you had no favorable prediction to give to them so therefore reliance on transits to give the main prediction is to court disaster as an astrologer and is to mislead people that is not astrology that is escapism therefore the correct thing to do in interpreting transit is to take at least to two points both take the lagna and the moon you see there are situations very unfortunate situations when you are in a hurry after all don't forget till 1990 november i was a government servant in india so i was going to the office someone would suddenly come with a horoscope or someone would drop into my room in the office or in the evening when i return someone would come in a hurry when i have to dispose of the person he is in a hurry i am also in a hurry then i will quickly look at the dasha antar dasha look at the transits synthesize them very fast and give a prediction in so doing i come i have sometimes committed some of the stupidest mistakes of my life also and some of the funniest mistakes of my life also i was sitting in my room in calcutta office generally i would ask people to come to me for astrology after 2 or 3 by the time i would have finished my office work one day early in the morning at 11 o'clock someone came a very intimate friend of mine with a friend of his and showed me the horoscope of his daughter within myself as irritated but i quickly saw my friend knew what i wanted she was an astrologer himself dasha anta dasha quick transit said are you worried about marriage I said yes he said i said she is going to be a mother next year i have no time please go in one minute i disposed him off that man got up was terribly annoyed and he left my room brusquely one year after when i was at home that man came with lot of sweets sweet meats that's a normal tradition in india when you go to an astrologer generally you should never go empty handed in usa you believe in charging in india we don't charge most of us for example i never charged so anyone who comes should come with a flower if nothing a flower some sweet meats some fruits that is the tradition so i said what happened he said you had frightened me to death last year when i came to your room and you said your daughter will become a mother next year there is no talk of a marriage it's a traditional puritanical society please try to understand So if I tell a Hindu father, your daughter is going to become a mother when her marriage is not fixed, what does it mean? <laughs> and 
and I being a bachelor, well, do enjoy this right to commit this mistake. <laughs> so he said, I said, look here, you may have come in the morning. He said, yes, I came in the morning. You should have come after 2 o'clock. I could have seen the whole thing and talked to you for 20, 25 minutes. You must have come when I had a lot of rush of work and perhaps I gave you this prediction. Okay. But there also transit should come last and this theory of mine I have discussed in my planets and children. You see the birth horoscope, you see the Saptansha, you see the Mahadasha Antyadasha running, then you see the double transit. And you first of all see whether children are promised or there is denial of children. Once you have experienced this in one minute, you can give a prediction and an accurate prediction. 99% times you will be right. So I, I came to transits all right, but transits came last. But in any case, when you are talking of transits, remember at least use two points. Not the moon alone. And the better is to use three points. The lagna, the sun and the moon. This is known as Sudarshan Chakra Padhati. given in Brihat Parashar Hora Shastra towards the end, towards the very end. When I say towards the very end, I have to tell you something interesting. In the last chapters of Brihat Parashar Hora Shastra, Rishi Maitre asks, a question. Well, you have taught us so many complex things. It is difficult for us to keep this in the mind and give predictions. Particularly in Kali Yuga when people have minimum IQ and very little sattvic intelligence, how can they retain all this when they are giving prediction? He said, all right. To help you out of this difficulty, I will give you a simple snapshot method of helping people out once in a while. Therefore, he gave the Astak Varga. Try to understand, even there it is Astak Varga. So, if you are giving only on the basis of the moon or the Janma nakshatra, it is not Parashari astrology. It is an over dilution of Parashari astrology. Janma nakshatra has its importance when and how. In the subsequent illustrations, I will be giving tomorrow and day after. I will show you the importance of Janma Nakshatra, the Dasha, then transits. So, I am starting with this request to you, come always to transits last, never first. Then these three points, Lagna, Moon and Sun are combined in a chakra known as Sudarshan Chakra. This is kept as a family secret. Pen to nahi dikh raha mujhe yahan. No. The dark pen. The pen with which it Oh, not this. Yeah. 
whole bunch of things there. Yes. So Sudarshan Chakra is actually even now a family secret. I have not made much use of it because I have been doing more work on Gemini. And Sudarshan Chakra has also a method, a secret method of progression. Some astrologers in northern India do it very well. One of them once came to my room, took my horoscope, never asked for the Vinshotri Desha, never asked for the degrees, never saw the Navansha. He made a Sudarshan Chakra and gave me some very correct predictions. But he did not disclose my teak seek, his secret, in which case it will move in the direct order, in which case it will move in the indirect order, which in Gemini we call Savya and Apsavya. If you know the secrets of Sudarshan Chakra, you can come down to the month of an event accurately. To the month. And after that month, you can come down to those crucial 72 hours within which that event is bound to happen. Then there are what are known as the Bhrigu secrets. A friend of mine, late K.C. Saxena, he died in 88-89. I always used to tell him, please write a book or at least write a secret book. <laughs> and share it with your friends. Because he was the only one I had known who found out this secrets of Bhrigu transits. But based on horoscopes. But based on horoscopes is an important thing I must stress. Not based on the sun sign or the moon sign or the Janma nakshatra alone. Then yesterday or day before, I was talking to this lady, I don't know her name. Mother. She just described her horoscope. And standing there, I asked her some questions. Between the ages of 20 and 26, she said yes. At the age of 7, you had some difficulty. She said I had tonsillitis operation or something. At the age of 6, you were exposed to music. She said earlier, even, even 4. If a person describes a horoscope, you can make use of certain types of progressions. We have tremendous lot of these secrets in India available even now. But they don't reveal it. The whole thing has to be dug out slowly. And as Mr. Chakrapani told you very correctly, I am the only one in India or for that matter in the world sharing these secrets with you. To the extent to which I find they are shareable. 
because i also know beyond certain point it can become a dangerously abusable knowledge in the hands of unscrupulous people but when you must make use of astak varga transits it is always safe to make use of astak varga i will be giving this examples of astak varga day after tomorrow not today now i will emphasize but correct tested one necessary with my apologies to all my intimate friends of usa two of whom sitting here have their computer programs also both mr mihel and charles dutman let me tell you i have not seen how correct is your astak varga एक आध ब्लैंक हमको ये चाहिए था उसने कहा था दे देंगे नहीं ये सब ब्लैंक है क्या Now tell me how many of you have an idea of astak varga? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Of course, computer program people must be having. Okay. Tell me what can go wrong in astak varga at what stage? In the preparation of astak varga. tell me stage by stage how many mistakes can you commit in preparing in astak varga in preparing only stage by stage it is called astak varga astak means what eight but 337 benefic points are used for seven planets plus lagna excluding rahu and ketu once you say it is astaka 8 some people say why are you using only seven planets and you have only seven bhinnastaka varga why don't you have the eighth one so in northern india they include lagnastaka varga eighth one and in some north indian computer programs you get 386 benefic points whereas the real tested correct one has to be 337 only i'll give you the correct tables tomorrow the tested tables
اس کے ہم پیچھے کاغذ رکھ لیں تو آ جائے گا کیا ٹھیک نہیں آئے گا اس کے نیچے کاغذ رکھ لیں تو کہاں نہیں بنے گا تو اس کو مٹانا پڑے گا نو آئی وانٹ اے بلینک ون آئی آئی سیڈ آئی وانٹ ٹو ورک 